Hello, hi guys, how are you? My name is Leo, here's how to IT. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the one on my hand. It's a TB-Link A port gigabit easy smart switch. This is an old switch. I have it for so many years. It works great, works well, and I think this is one of the cheapest managed switch. You can get it on the market. Like I said, it works great with no problem, served me for so many years, but until I reset it. Yes, um, one thing the software is a, is a little bit confusing. So I finally figured it out. So I think it's a good idea to bring you guys a video, show you how to configure VLAN on this smart switch or stupid switch let's dive into it so before we do any setting we need the software for the configuration the software is called easy smart configuration utility and it's from tv links it's this one my like i said mine is very old i used the version ones the, the one you have to maybe very just check the um serial number i mean the model number then you could find which version you need mine is version one and then go here the easy smart configurator utility and then we can download from here so after we download and install the software we should have this icon on our desktop when we fire that up actually the utility is paying my network to find out what address is the switch so mine is this one let's log into that the default user name is admin the password is tp names mine is different because i really changed let's log on to that when we first log in we should see all the informations right here and you can do all the settings on your left hand side as well not gonna go over that because that's simple so we just go into the hardest part VLAN. So when we tap on the VLANs, the first one is multi VLANs. I'm not sure what this one is. I just disabled this. Uh, I think if you want to set the AO2.1 queue, you have to disable this one. So the and then the second one is port based VLANs. I also disabled this one as well. Um, if your router has more than one port you can do it like a, this way if your router only got one port you have to do like a chunk port like a AO2.1Q like a Cisco switch so that's what I do and that is the hardest thing so I actually um, take a long time to figure this out um, I don't know maybe I'm just me st stupid but I think this is really confusing so let's see what I said here so the first rule is default you cannot change that so just leave the first rules right here and the second rules I add is the um, VLAN 2 you set I just simply set you can name whatever from 1 to 4000 something just name it 2 and then give it a name 2 for easy simple and straightforward and the tag point is you tag the first port and then you untag the port 5 like what I understand is you tag it the port one is a trunk port and then you untag the port is whatever your VLAN port is 
so you can tell by the second one I set it to VLAN 3 I name it 3 as well and then I tag the port 1 and then I untag the port 2, 3 and 4 so there's two settings I do so I have to port 1 as a trunk port I have 2, 3, 4 as a VLAN 1 or maybe VLAN 3 you can say that and then the port 5 is for my Wi-Fi so it's a second VLAN so now I set two VLAN the trunk port is port 1 next we have to adjust the PVID settings like I said I have the port 2, 3, 4 as a v one VLAN so I set the PVID 3 you can set it here you click this one and then you can set it on here and then apply and the port 5 I set it to the PVID 2 so that is separate VLAN for my Wi-Fi so they kind of like work together so keep in mind so let's go over my router settings I got three interface right here you can tell from here so let's go into the interface we can see more clears on here I set the wheel tag next for the WAN I do the VLAN on the Broadcom next the VLAN 3 I set it for the homeland uh, the VLAN 2 I set it for the Wi-Fi so you also need to do the setting on the VLAN like you remember I do the text on here the the port 2 3 is tag 3 which is the PVID so you have to give it a tag 3 so that's my LAN and then the port 5 the PVID is 2 so that is my Wi-Fi you have to match right there so I think that's it it's simple but so confusing <laughs>